Hello and welcome back to my channel for yet another Pompey review. Now the reviewing of tonight's, well last night's game is going to be a difficult one so it may take a bit longer, but you never know, we could fly through it. Join me though as we do digress and continue and talk about last night's game. Now thank you for tuning into this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new. Now Pompey did travel to the Wham Stadium in Accrington at drawing 3 goals to 3. 2-0 down, 3-2 up, we're super pompy and it ended 3-3. Um, probably the most roller coaster game all season. The Blues thought their season was over at half time. 2-0 down, you're thinking, yeah, we've lost Charlton and we're winning at the point. That's when you thought, yeah, Pompey's season has been fun, but that's it done. However, Pompey then fought back with a 92nd minute, what we thought was winner from John Marquis, 92nd minute. We had it in the bag, we were like, get in, get in, two, two goals in five minutes. Well, 10 minutes after half time, but two goals inside the same four minute period. And then we got that goal and we thought, get in, it's happened, it's going on. John Marquis did well with the finish and we had our hopes up, but in the end it wasn't to be. Uh, the ball lofted into the box, a bit of a mistake. Marquis completed his hat trick, but in the wrong net. Um, but, you know, I think we can take positives from it. I, de I really do. Yes, we didn't win, but we didn't lose. You know, 2 0 down at half time, we were saying that's game done, we've lost. We managed, we had that mentality second half that we could still do it. We did get in front, okay, we drew, but if you're 2 0 down, you take a draw. It only feels like two points dropped because of the fact we were so close. It's the only reason it feels like two points dropped. I think, had it been 2 0 going into the last 10 minutes and we got a 2 2, fans would have been like, fair enough, that's, two, two, that's a point well earned. But it's the fact that we were 3 2 up and we were so close to doing it is the reason why. It feels that bit less like a win. Well, less that bit less like a, a good result. But we will quickly talk about the rest of League One. Actually, no, we won't. We'll do that last. I think it's time we hear from my dad. We hear from Paul to hear what he he thinks after that roller coaster of a game. Right, reactions to the game tonight. First half. Yeah, we had created chances, but we weren't really out of the races. Um, went two 0 down. Marquis for me in the first half was absolutely shocking. Um, but the second half, we showed grit, we showed determination. We come back, we got level two all. We we went with three two up. I'm so gutted we look, you know, that we conceded the last minute home goal three all. But you got these people are saying well, there's no there's no hope. Yes, there is hope. We can still get in the playoff. We can still get the playoffs. And if they play like they did in the second half, with guts, determination, and passion, we can still get there. So keep the faith, play up Pompey, and I still believe we can do it. Now thank you to you, Dad, for his opinion again. It always means a lot. But Pompey did battle back and eventually get held back for a point at the Wham Stadium. You know, we'll have a more in-depth look at the game now, including the stats. So Bishop and Burgess opening the scoring in the 15th and 43rd minutes to make it 2-0 at half-time. Marquis and Williams get quick fire goals in the second half in the 49th and 54th minute before Marquis then made it 3-2 in the 90th minute and then he made it 3-3 in the 95th minute. Now the stats from the game that I am on the iPad as always, 52% possession to 48% in Accrington's favour, 24 shots to 13, 14 chances to 9, big chances, 3 to Pompey, 1 to Accrington, passes better in their favour. Pass success is also better in their favour. More fouls conceded by the Blues, but I don't think that really means a lot. So Accrington probably enjoying a bit better stats in that game in terms of the, the better stats. We'll look at the shots now, which is kind of more attacking. They had 24 in total. We had 13. 8 off target, 11 on target, and 5 blocked for Accrington, with us having 6 off target, 4 on target, and 3 blocked, meaning they battered us in that sense. Um, accurate passes, they battered us in every single thing apart from throw-ins. We won the most duels, though, with 72 to their 71. We, we both had, uh, obviously, 143 duels between us. Eight duels were attempted, four succeeded by either side. Pompey attempted more tackles and succeeded in more tackles as well, with more aerials won. So Pompey looked to be the side that battled the best in terms of actual battling stats, in terms of getting stuck in, tackles being won, aerial duels being won. Pompey were better at that, but we weren't better at the shots and we weren't better at the chances being created. Now, the league table after today... Sees a team miss out on the chance to get promoted. Hull still lead the way without playing today. Peterborough did play today. If they'd have won, they would have been promoted. They didn't win, though. They drew 2-2 at home to Doncaster after being 2-0 up. That now sees them 
eight points clear with three games left. With they've got two games left, but the team in third have three. Peterborough know that a three points on Saturday will see them promoted. So Hull and Peterborough might be in the championship next season. Hull already guaranteed. The playoff picture then is Lincoln, Sunderland, Blackpool, and Pompey. Pompey do occupy a place, a point above Oxford and two points above Charlton. Charlton with a game in hand, but they still have Lincoln and Hull to face in the last two games after their game on Saturday. So their game in hand is Lincoln. Lincoln in third position still know they have a chance at promotion and even still will want to have the best possible finish to the season. People that say, oh, it's game over. Pompey occupy sixth. We have the points. Yes, teams have games in hand, but we win our last two games and it's in their hands to try and do something. Charlton drop points once and they can't catch us if we win. Simple as that. We could have capitalised tonight. We didn't. We have to move on from that and look past it. You can say, oh, well, Pompey dropped points because Charlton drew. That was a chance. Yes, but we didn't know that. They they drew in the 95th minute as well. You know, we take a point, they take a point, and we move on. It happens in the next game. Pompey have the easier run in, theoretically. Charlton have three games left to play, two of them against the top three. So, you know, anything could happen. And hopefully it happens in the Blues' favour. We will look at the bottom end of the table, though, because I think we have to. Bristol Rovers then bottom of the league already relegated along with Swindon. Northampton and Rochdale still battling with Wigan and Wimbledon just above them. Rochdale versus Wimbledon did end 3-3. Rochdale throwing away two leads in that game, 2-0 and then 3-2 as well. Northampton not playing tonight, but they now know they can still stay up. Four points needed from two games. Rochdale are the exact same. It's looking like it will be Rochdale, Northampton, Swindon and the Bristol Rovers in the basement division next season. But that is pretty much where this video ends. All of that will be on screen as, along with other things. The Blues failing to win, and actually, I've forgotten to even mention what the games were. They'll be in the corner. Accrington 3, Pompey 3. Rochdale travelled to Wimbledon, drawing 3-3. Burton defeated Fleetwood, 5 goals to 2. Charlton drew 2 all with Crewe. Lincoln travelled to Shrewsby, beating them 1 goal to 0. Blackpool travelled to Sunderland in a top-of-the-table clash, winning 1-0. And Peterborough, they drew 2-2 after being tuned up with Doncaster. But that is where this video is going to end. I hope you have enjoyed it. As much as I don't like making ones where we haven't got good results, I try and make them as best as possible, as good as possible, and as high quality. Once again, it's not easy to make. I've just mentioned that. But please do like and subscribe to the channel. I'm tired. I'm going to have to go to bed soon. Uh, this is being recorded quite a while after the game, just so I could see something that I'm going to mention now. And it was Danny Cowley's post-match interview. I always wanted to watch about the highlights. Uh, the goals weren't great, but I don't want to mention them. Danny Cowley is the man to take us forward. Yeah, he is. His postman interview, he felt broken. You could see that in him. He was trying to, you know, keep it calm. He didn't want to... He looked like he was close to crying. I know he wasn't, but it felt that way. He's passionate. He loves this club. I know he's not from Pompey, but he's just as passionate as any of us are. Maybe not, not as much as us, because we're Pompey through and through. But if we want a man in the summer, you're not going to get anyone better than Danny Cowley. He's shown us that. Nicky Kelly as well on the sidelines. They're the reason we fought back in that game. John Marquis even said what they said at half-time. Got the players playing. And yes, they should be playing from the, from the get-go. But that helped them. But anyway, that is where this video is going to end. Once again, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video whenever that comes out.